guys, uh, we're gonna put it down so you guys, uh, you got some uh, cute, uh, some cards, some uh, pro promo cards on your table. If you wanna fill those out, you actually, uh, you join the uh, Improv's VIP club, you get uh, discounted tickets, uh, free birthday tickets, and just all kind of things to uh, upcoming shows. So do that after the show. And make some noise for your next comedian, make all noise, Jason Markowitz! <laughs> Jason Markowitz is my stage name. My birth name is Avi Melach Cohen, which means Jay the Jew from Jersey. <laughs> thank you, thank you. And growing up back east, I had access to the best freaking Italian food on the planet. I mean, no doubt. I used to go to New York City, Little Italy, the best. The restaurants there, they had the mafia guys and the mafia wives and their consiglieris and I wanted to feel like I fit in. I wanted to feel like I was part of the crew. I wanted to feel like I was one of the guys. You know, like, I wanted to feel like I was Italian. So I walk into the place and I put on my Italian voice, but the thing is, when I sound Italian, I kind of sound like Joe Pesci on Helium. <laughs> Here, I'll show you. I walk into the place like, hey, how the fuck you doing, freaks? <laughs> I'm fucking starving over here. I'm saying like a half a fag already. <laughs> By the way, what is a half a fag? Half a fag is essentially a bisexual, right? <laughs> I mean, Joe Pesci could just walk into the place and say, Hey, I'm standing like a bisexual. Actually, that doesn't work. Never mind, just forget that. So, the waitress would walk me into the place and hand me over the menu, and i look at the menu, and I would keep my Joe Pesci bravado, but I had a hard time pronouncing the menu items properly. <laughs> this one time I was making an order, this waitress gave me such a dirty look. I didn't even know what I said. I'm looking at the menu, and I said, Hey! Let me get a glass of Pinot Grigio, and uh, let me get a bowl of pasta fagioli, and side, side, let me get a side of that focaccia bread. Yeah, that looks great. I'll dip the focaccia bread in the pasta fagioli, all right? <laughs> get on it, toots. <laughs> Later on, the manager put me into his back office and hammered a nail through my tongue. I learned my lesson. <laughs> so, I like video games. You like video games? I, I got this whole retro thing going on in my apartment. It's, it's freaking awesome. And sometimes I kind of mix sex with my video games. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I just find it kind of really erotic. I kind of see you shaking your head right now. You don't find video games erotic? Really? Well, really? What if I walked up to you later on tonight and I said, Baby, I want to rub you up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. B, A, select, start. Ooh. We just got three lives, baby. We gonna play some contra. No worries, man. <laughs> so, ladies, actually, I'm wondering, why do you get so upset if your man watches porn? I mean, really, what's the big deal? What are you so nervous about? That they're gonna impregnate the keyboard? <laughs> they're gonna catch an STD by swiping the mouse gum off the cell phone? <laughs> Honestly, it's a rhetorical question. I do know the answer, though. You ladies feel insecure that your man is gonna find someone who's more attractive in those porn videos. Ladies, chill out. You don't think us guys feel insecure? Really? Oh, yeah. It's so one time I was watching a video. I never felt so inadequate staring at a Mary Poppins quote before. Oh, yeah. The guy's dick had a tattoo that said, Super Califragilistic Expialidocious on it. By comparison, my penis just has a lowercase j tattoo. That's it. It's pathetic. <laughs> you know what really freaks me out about these porn videos, though? Those Asian girls. I don't know. It's so weird. I can't tell if they're being tortured or they're having a great time. I mean, not without subtitles. Because they don't make that sound. You know that sound? It really freaks me out. It's like, <laughs> what is going on? Is she okay? I have no idea. massage therapist for 15 years and I am so fucking sick of it guys. There are so many nut jobs out there you have no idea. I was working on this one guy's wife like a month ago in Mesa. As I'm setting up the table the guy walks into the room and says to me I just want to make sure you're gonna give my wife a full body massage. Yeah sure no problem. No I don't think you understand me. It's okay if you massage her butt. It's totally cool if you massage her breasts and if you don't mind. I like to stick around and watch you give her a happy end and slap $25 on my hand. I look down, I look up, I look down, I look up, I said, motherfucker, I'm worth at least 30, you piece of shit. <laughs> but it's not just the men, it's the women too, they're nuts. 
Like this one time I was working on this woman who was, guys, definitely alive during the Truman administration. And during the massage, it was all quiet in the room, and she says, Oh my God, this feels so good. You have such a sensual touch. You probably could turn on any grandmother. Oh my God! Why the hell would you say that, lady? <sighs> all right, guys, I gotta go to therapy. You all have a great night. Thank you all very much. you on completing a full assed job. I feel like you only get called out if you stop halfway. <laughs> hey, nice half assed job there, Ted Organ. <laughs> Fair enough. But if I ever get around putting up the rest of this fence, you owe me the other half of that ass's compliment. I don't know why that one butt cheek's gotta be so judgmental. Not like it's doing any of the work. Lazy ass. <laughs> when I was a child, I used to get into trouble. My mother would say, I'm gonna spank you where the sun don't shine. So I became a nudist. <laughs> Dodge that bullet. You can't spank me anywhere. In my humble opinion, the opposite of an orange smoothie would be an orange roughy. <laughs> People are always saying, I find the one thing that stands between me and my dreams is my wife's alarm clock. <laughs> Frick things always ruining my dreams and right at the best parts. Her alarm clock goes off at 6 o'clock, 6.03, 6.05, 6.07. Then we get a reprieve all the way up until 6.15. Needless to say, I am retired. Thank you. <laughs> I'm retired, meaning I'm tired over and over and over and over again. I'm thinking about getting into the healthcare industry. I'd like to be an NBPC specialist. That way, if anyone comes in complaining about my neck, my back, my pussy, yeah, my crap. Well then, I got you covered. A little one-stop shop. If Charles Darwin were alive today, he would not be into fake boobs. He would be into selecting the natural ones. <laughs> I tell you what, that guy was a visionary. Talking about natural selection, a hundred years before the first implants were implanted. That's some Notre Dame shit right there. What would happen if you implanted implants into a plant, in a plant? That would fuck up a stoner right there. <laughs> and be like, oh, check out these buds. Oh, check out them titties. Wait, what? <laughs> Speaking of plastic boobs, 
I love how you people get all indignant over how anatomically incorrect Barbie is. What about Ken? <laughs> he doesn't even have a penis. <laughs> Makes me feel like a monster. <laughs> See? That's why I'm gonna start my own aftermarket doll parts company. This is what an actual sales call may sound like someday. Thanks for calling Ted Organ's aftermarket doll parts, where nobody beats our genitalia. Uh, hi, I'd like to place an order for one snap-on Ken penis. All right, sir, put you down for one snap-on Ken penis. And I got a coupon code here that says one free set of plastic testicles with the purchase of the snap-on Ken penis. All right, I'll put you down for a pack sack combo. Would you like to supersize that? Ah, <laughs> uh, hell, why not? And while you're at it, why don't you go ahead and throw in a package of them Malibu Barbie nipples? <laughs> Color and size? I'll take the tan silver D's, please. <laughs> Excellent choice. Just to let you know, there is a one-year manufacturer's warranty against all defective genitalia, and your package should ship in seven to ten business days. Another satisfied customer. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ted Orton.